The Windows Control Panel is a place where users can modify system settings. It was introduced in the first version of Windows, Windows 1 in 1985. Initially basic, with simple options such as to control cursor blink and double click speed, it would gain many features over the years. In 1990, Windows 3 moved settings from the control panel itself into smaller, so-called applets, which grouped settings by function, such as sound, and were linked to from the control panel window. Additionally, it was possible for third-party developers to add their own applets to the control panel. In 2000's Windows Millennium Edition, or Windows Me, the control panel showed only the most common applets by default, although a user was able to toggle the display of all applets if desired. This concept would be expanded on further in the following year's Windows XP, which by default grouped related applets together under various categories, such as appearance and themes. Like in Windows Me, users were still able to display all applets simultaneously if preferred, in the so-called classic view. 2006's Windows Vista integrated the functionality of some control panel applets back into control panel itself, harking back to the original iterations of the design. One example was the new personalization section of control panel, which replaced the older display properties applet. This trend would be continued in 2009's Windows 7. In 2012's Windows 8, Microsoft introduced a new settings app, which housed a selection of the most common system settings, often mirroring the control panel, but with some settings removed from control panel and only available in the settings app, such as for user account pictures. This would begin a long process of Microsoft moving settings from Control Panel to the new Settings app. As of 2023, over a decade after the Settings app was introduced, the process is still not complete, meaning that Windows 8, 8.1, 10 and 11 all have two separate places where system settings can be accessed. One reason why it may have taken such a long time may be because Microsoft is intending to maintain maximum compatibility with older apps, which may require certain control panel applets to be accessible in order for them to function correctly.